What is up YouTubers, Warren Ertis here, and welcome back. And today, I'm going to give you all a tutorial on how to download Sue Shaders for Minecraft. Now, uh, this is working on 1.64. Uh, it is going to be released soon for 1.7.2, but I'm not going to give a tutorial on that because uh, it's really buggy for a start. Um, and yeah, there's a major update coming soon for that. Uh, there will be volumetric clouds in it, which is absolutely awesome. Um, so, yeah, this tutorial is on 1.6.4, which just let me know about. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. So, first thing you want to do is you want to go to the start menu and type in percent app data percent, and that'll bring up this roaming folder. Quit that. And then, at the very top of the list, you'll have .minecraft. Now, what I want you to do is basically cut and then go to somewhere on your desktop, um, anywhere. It doesn't really matter, so long as you know where it is. And then paste. And then it'll move all them like previous saves and folders into that folder, and you, you're not going to lose any of your saves or anything then. So, now you've got that copied, um, what I want you to do is basically just delete the folder. So, you can either do what I've just done is cut and paste and it'll just delete it instantly. Or, you can copy and paste and then just delete it. So, next thing I want you to do, I want you to, yeah, I want you to go to Minecraft, like this. And, I basically want you to create a new profile. But just let me log in. One second. Right then. So then you want to go and edit profile. And then you want to select. Yeah, use the latest version. Select 1.6.4 on that. Uh, and then, after you've done that. Uh, Rename a profile name to something that you know, so like shaders mod. I don't know. I'll just leave it as shaders. Um, and then save your profile. And then what that'll do, that'll load 1.6.4, like by default. So hit play. And then it will begin downloading all the game's files and everything. Um, now, as it's downloaded it, what you can also do, go to the Chrome. Um, or internet browser, hit that. Now you want to download four things um, if you haven't already got one of them. You want to download Minecraft Forge, uh, you want to download the shaders mod, um, and then the core file, yeah. You want to download uh, yeah, the shader pack folder, um, which is the Sue shaders, and then if you haven't already got it, download Notepad++. Plus Plus. Um, this is a really great editing software for things like um, yeah, Minecraft files and that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, download Forge, you want to download the recommended build, um, or 1.6.4 recommended, should I say. Um, just download the installer, and then that'll begin downloading. It'll take you to an ad for I link. Uh, leave this page. Oh, hang on, what's happening here? <laughs> it's not letting me. <sighs> Yeah, don't click any of this, just quick wait for uh, yeah, five seconds and then quick skip add. So and then keep that and then it'll begin to save that. Um so that's halfway done. Now I will put all the links to these in the description, um, just so you know, so it'll make it easier for you guys. Um the next thing you want to download is the shaders mod core. Um so basically this is the GLSL shaders mod. Um and it's published by Dank's Nitro. I think. Um, so you want to download this, um, you want the GLSL shaders mod for 1.6.4, don't get 1.7.2. So download that, and then you want to click download link 1 or 2 if it doesn't work for you, simple as. Then wait 5 seconds. Skip add. Then download that. Now, just close that tab. Um, keep that. 
then let's go to the Sonic Evers Unbelievable Shaders. Now, you can either download five folders on this, um, I think. You can get the light version, um, standard, ultra no motion blur, um, ultra motion blur, and then um, ultra depth of field. Um, so, basically, uh, the one I use for my videos is Seuss V10.0 Ultra Motion Blur. Um, they go in order of GPU power from the top to the bottom. So at the bottom, um, more GPU power is actually needed to run it. Um, but I will cover why I don't use the Ultra Depth for Field and a later, um, or the Motion Blur in a later time. So, yeah, the one I preferably want you to download is a No Blur. So hit that, and then it'll take you to another Adfly link. Um, you might come across many of these, just ignore them. Um, it's because the developer wants to earn money from a download, quite simpler. Um, yeah, so download that, and then yeah, yeah that's already downloaded. So now 1.6.4 is actually downloaded. What you want to do, you want to quit the game, because that will... Basically, yeah, it will have downloaded all the files. So if I go back to percent app data percent, go to dot Minecraft. Yeah, you've got a brand new fresh um, dot Minecraft folder. So reason for this is because the mod works better on a fresh Minecraft file. Um, if you've been opening Minecraft thousands and thousands of times, um, it can sometimes become corrupt. Um, so you're always better off starting on a yeah clean Minecraft jar. Um, yeah, so next thing you want to do, what, well now you've got that done, I'm going to leave that open, I'm just going to minimise that. Uh, what you want to do, you want to go to your downloads or wherever you save these files, um, and then you want to get the Shaders Mod Core, uh, yeah, the Forge and the Suits. Um, first thing you want to do, you want to right click on the Forge, and then open with Java Platform SE Binary. Um, some people will have this by default, um, but it's best always to do this. So hit that, and then you want to install the client, and then you just want to check make sure that it's in the right folder, so it's in the .minecraft, click cancel, and then click OK. And that will basically install Forge on your Minecraft. Um, now the reason why I want you to install Forge is because um, this is what allows all of the mods to run. Um, Forge is like the backbone of a Minecraft mod. So, yeah, now that's installed on your computer, basically all you have to do is hit OK. Um, and then, after you've done that, you want to go to the .minecraft folder. Notice I've saved it in my favourites as well. Um, that makes it much faster than typing percent app data percent. Um, all you have to do is drag that folder to your favourites. That's all you have to do. Um, yeah, so hit that, and then you want to create a new folder called mods, and then you want to create a new folder called shader packs with no capitals or anything. Like that. So then, what you want to do, you just want to run Minecraft, check make sure that Forge is loaded properly. Uh, after you've got Forge downloaded and installed, yeah, you basically want to change the profile to Forge. Um, yeah, and then you want to hit play. So then, yeah, that will launch it using the Forge launcher. So, yeah, it's on 1.6.4 by the way. Um, then hit play. And then, yeah, it will launch Minecraft using the Forge mod. So, like that. So you've got three mods loaded and three mods active. So just close Minecraft after that. Um, ignore this, you can just delete that. Uh, and then, yeah, you want to go back to your downloads folder. Download the shaders mod core. Or oh, you should have already got it. Just drag and drop it into the Minecraft mods folder that you've recently created. And then, after you've done that, you want to go to your .minecraft folder again, but go back one. Um, and then you want to go to shader packs. And then after that, you want to drag and drop Seuss V10.0 Ultra No Blur 1 into the folder. Um, so basically, Forge is the backbone of all mods. Um, the Shaders Mod Core, what that basically is, that allows Shader Packs to run. 
and then the Seuss V10.0, that is a single shader pack. So you can get different shader packs each time. Um, hang on, where's my... Oh, uh, I'm on the wrong tab here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is the Shaders Mod Core. Um, let me just go back. Weaver's page. Yeah, these are all different shader packs. So it's basically your choice um, what shader pack you want to get. Um, but keep in mind that there is lots of different shader packs other than the suits. So yeah, just literally Google shader packs, that's all it takes. So yeah, basically, now you've got that done, start Minecraft. Let's minimize that. And all of them, <laughs> for that matter. Uh, launch using Forge, um, and then hit play. Now it, it should come up four mods active now. So, yeah, four mods loaded, four mods active. Um, so now you've got the GLSL shaders mod installed. Um, yeah, so hit done, and then you want to create a new world. So just go on creative. Uh, and then, yeah, wait for it to create a world. Now, at this point, you'll notice that you don't actually have shaders, uh, but it's just because you haven't worded the shader pack. Um, and you may encounter a bug at this point, um, but it's entirely fine and it's easily fixable. Um, but, anyway, yeah, to enable the shader pack, just hit options, and then you'll notice a new button there called shaders. Um, hit that. And then, yeah, you want to load um, Seuss V10.0 Ultra No Blur. Um, and then you want to set Cloud Shadow to False, New Block Break into True. Then you want to set the text Min to Nearest Nearest, like that. Hen then hit Done. Um, and, yeah, you'll notice that it is proper weird. Um, but don't worry, um, this is actually a problem with the uh, NVIDIA beta drivers. Um, I don't know why it causes it, um, but it's easily fixable. Um, you can either revert your drivers back to the original ones, um, but there's an easier way and it's just slightly modifying the uh, shader pack itself. So I'm just going to show you how you do that. Um, you want to go to your .minecraft folder, then you want to go to the shader packs folder, um, go to the v 10.0 and then shaders, and then you'll notice a composite.vsh file. Um, just copy that and then paste it to your desktop. And then right click it. Well, just open it with Notepad. Um, now, you'll notice that Notepad, like, it uses like separate lines and it's much easier to understand in comparison with regular Notepad. So, this is why it's good for like formatting and things like that. But yeah, anyway, go to line. 47 and you'll notice that it says float time power um, change the 2.0f to 3.0f um, and that's pretty much all you have to do so let me just change that and yeah then just overwrite the file and then close that and now you want to copy and paste that file back to your shaders folder um, and then overwrite it so copy and replace and that's it, you've basically just fixed the entire shaders. So um, just close that after you've done it. And yeah, just reword Minecraft, that's all it takes. Um, so one thing to note about this is that it only works on certain ones. Um, this fix that I've just recently done. Um, it works for every shader pack um, that's created by Seuss except the white version of it and the ultra motion blur of it. Um, so I don't know why that is, um, but that's the main reason that I use the shader packs with no motion blur. It's because um, the fix doesn't exactly work for the motion blur one. And although it looks pretty good, it can be quite buggy. So, and it just severely like, decreases your FPS. Um, but yeah, you can like revert your drivers um, to the original ones um, because the GeForce experience updates the beta ones for you. I have no idea why. Um, but 
yeah, just word up Minecraft, um, and then after you've got it worded, um, your shader pack will be fixed, and it's as simple as that. And yeah, you've now got shaders. So um, you might notice that everything's got shadows and um, the light's white, reflective. Um, and yeah, even the leaves, um, they like blow in the wind, um, and that's the same as the long grass. Um, so it, it does look awesome, um, you can't deny it. Um, so yeah, uh, I'd just like to mention one other thing, um, and that's you do need a quite powerful graphics card to run this thing. Um, I'd say at least a NVIDIA GTX 460, um, or anything along that line. Um, bearing in mind um, I'm using the GTX 660, um, I was only getting about 30 frames a second playing this. Um, but that was mainly because I was recording the, like, my desktop using Fraps. Um, I tend to get around 50 frames a second at 720p. Um, so you do need quite a powerful graphics card to run that. Um, and one other thing I'd like to note is that now you've got Forge loaded, you should um, yeah create a new profile and then rename it um, to something like Latest. Um, and then instead of using the Forge um, mod, um, change the version to use Latest version. And then what it'll do, um, it'll give you the most recent updated version of Minecraft. Um, and so that basically allows you to run 1.7.4 and that kind of thing. So when you get a new Minecraft update, it's fine. Anyway, um, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you now have shaders. Um, if you have any queries, please don't forget to just hit me a comment in the comment section below. Um, and I'll try and get back to you and fix your problem. Um, but from me, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But, peace out, so have a good one.